Hello, um, it's Veronica. Welcome back. Uh, now I'm going to show you how to use the DZ command to flash the partition images. So um, let's start. First, as you can see in the video at the bottom, I have uh, my new tablet uh, plugged in. Now I'm going to take the new tablet. Now we are going to mount the USB storage so I can copy the partition image that I'm going to test. Okay, so for uh, to copy the partition images, I'm going to use uh, uh, Windows. So, as you can see here in Ubuntu, it has opened the Nook tablet, the, the SD card folder. And I don't want to use Ubuntu right now to copy anything. So, I'm going to click here in this icon at the bottom if you can see removable disk I'm going to click on it disconnect and when I click on disconnect automatically Windows take part uh, uh, of the media see it has uh, connected the new tablet all right, so I have in here the partition images, as you can see in here. There are uh, nine of them. I know uh, there are 11, but I just uh, created nine of them because uh, the number 10, which is media partition, and the number 11, which is the user data partition, um, they are not that necessary and also I don't have a higher SD card to create the images okay so now how do we know which of these uh, correspond to which partition okay so here I have a small uh, file containing the name of the file system and the partition image that uh, correspond and also I have already the MD5 uh, code of each of these partitions okay so I'm going to test the system partition because my device is not bricked and so I don't want to risk it trying all the partitions all right so I'm going just to try the system one I'm going to copy this one the number eight copy no tablet this is the name of the of my SD card that I have give already long time ago okay now that it has finished copy I can uh, close this window and I'm going to safely eject my new tablet okay I'm going to unplug the cable now I can unmount my device okay and I'm going to test uh, the system partition so I'm going to format my system just to make sure ok 
okay just to make sure that I have uh, no system or if it has been corrupted or whatever it will it doesn't matter you don't need to format again your partition because uh, once the the DD command runs it's going to override whatever is in that partition all right I'm going back I press the power button okay now I can minimize this and this too open We're going to run this command just to make sure that ADB is not running right now and we are going to restart it. Okay. Okay, um, it's not taken, so I'm going to I'm going to unplug. I'm going to unplug the cable again. Plug it again. Okay, now it's recognizing my device. All right. Now, I need to run the command. I need to show. All right. Okay, before I run the DD command, we need to we need to mount our SD card. can see here it's not helping this camera okay when we have uh, our SD card mounted now we can proceed to run the DD command okay I'm going to show you I have made a mini readme file where it explains how to run the DD commands. Okay, and here it is. We are in this part. We have already ADB shell um, in here. So this is the format uh, that we're going to use to run the DD command. All right. So if and off. working don't touch anything until it 
going to finish. Now that we had added that piece of code at the end, VS, uh, VS equal 4096 megabytes, that means that that will be the, uh, the bits that it's going to be written. Okay, it's faster. Alright, it's done. Now, exit. I'm going to kill ADB server. Now, we go back to our device. Let's see if it works. First, you need to unmount your SD card. Okay, unplug the cable and we are ready to reboot our device. The first boot, it always takes uh, more time. Okay, and there it is. All right. <laughs> 